Hi, my, uh, my, my name is uh, Imran Iqbal. I'm the, uh, the CEO of uh, Nova Group of Companies and uh, Vice President of uh, uh, Nova USA Site Training and Site Safety Solution. We are located in uh, New Jersey, USA. Uh, we have our global reach, our global offices in Birmingham, UK, and a couple of offices in Pakistan as well. Um, personally, I offer uh, um, about 20 years of uh, engineering pro uh, project management and uh, uh, site safety management uh, experience. Uh, I currently holds uh, OSHA, um, uh, OSHA outreach construction uh, train trainer. I am, and also uh, the member of uh, board of certified safety professionals USA with the CHST certifications. I also have a uh, site safety manager and uh, some scuffling and rigging uh, um, uh, rigging certifications from uh, New York, uh, uh, USA. Um, uh, we at ANOVA, uh, we offer um, um, certified and experienced experts in the area of um, um, uh, system safety, process safety, fire protection and prevention, uh, electric safety, construction safety especially, and in general, uh, occupation health and safety, anything related to that we, we do offer at ANOVA USA. Um, I'm going to, you're going to see a video later on uh, and uh, with bear our global trainer, um, Khaja uh, Bilal Jilani is going to talk about uh, NFPA's uh, um, electric safety standards and what NFPA, uh, what uh, courses that uh, electrical safety courses ANOVA USA provides in the in the light of uh, uh, NFPA uh, USA. And one thing I'm very uh, very humbly but uh, proud to announce that uh, our uh, training for all the electrical safety courses which NFPA requires. Uh, for the for their CSCP and CSW and CEST uh, certifications, our electric courses training has been accepted by the NFPA. So anybody who is taking our training will fulfill the requirement for the for the experience or the training that NFPA required to get qualified for those uh, those certifications. But most importantly, I think what it is, uh, once you go through this, these, these electrical safety courses, uh, I think you're going to look at the, look at your workplace, your industry and the place you work in to see that if you are in a compliance, uh, part NFPA, especially 70E standard. And without taking <laughs> any more time, uh, I'm going to give to the, to the person on the stage who is the expert of, uh, uh standard 70E. NFPA, he's a CSP, he's a CSCP, and few more. I'm just going to name only two, three here. So, you know, um, here you go. Uh, you are in a very safe hands. You're going to have a very good presentation. And uh, I'm going to leave. I'll head over to you, uh, Bilal. Go ahead, take it, man. Thank you. I'm Khwaja Bilal, global trainer in over USA and in all global group of companies. I'm certified safety professional and associate safety professional from Board of Certified Safety Professionals USA, Grad IOSH from IOSH UK, and certified electrical safety compliance professional from National Fire Protection Association USA. Working as trainer and consultant in occupational health and safety, electrical safety is my core expertise we have trained over 400 professionals on standard on electrical safety in the workplace, NFPA 70E. NFPA 70E is known as authority on electrical safety in the workplace. So getting trained on NFPA 70E from a certified trainer or achieving NFPA certifications like Certified Electrical Safety Compliance Professional or Certified Electrical Safety Worker or Certified Electrical Safety Technician can give you a great edge in your career. There is a certain amount of prerequisite training hours requirement from NFPA to achieve these certifications from a reputable institution. Innova USA has the honor that we have designed such courses and our courses fulfills that prerequisite requirement of NFPA 70E to get these certifications. In this short presentation, we will give you overview of NFPA certifications 
Certified Electrical Safety Compliance Professional CESCP, Certified Electrical Safety Worker CESW, and Certified Electrical Safety Technician CEST, and Innova USA Electrical Safety Design Courses Level 1, Level 2, and Exam Prep for these certifications. So let's start the presentation. So these are NFPA Electrical Safety Certifications, CESCP, CESW, and CEST. All these certifications are based on NFPA 70E, Standard for Electrical Safety in the Workplace 2018, Open Book Exam from the NFPA printed original standard. 2021 version of the standard has been launched in the market, but the certification exam is still based on this version. So there are just few changes in some sections of the standard, but you will be compliant while certifying on this version of the standard. Uh, NFPA has also launched in the market 70E handbook, which is actually solution of the standard but this one is not allowed in the exam. Only original NFPA printed 70E standard is allowed in the exam. So this is a type of certificate which NFPA issues and which should be your target. This is my certification, Certified Electrical Safety Compliance Professional CESCP with a beautiful NFPA logo and the digital badge. So I wish the people watching this video best of luck to add this value in your career as well. Moving forward, we look at a glance on these uh, certifications and uh, their necessary details. These all are computer based open book NFPS 70E and uh, like uh, the registered uh, computer based exam centers uh, under IQT or like Prometric exam centers, you can have the exam there. The exam duration is three hours in which you will have 110 MCQs uh, and 100 will be scored, 10 will be just mixed with the other questions. Uh, once your application is approved by NFPA for these certifications, you have to appear for the exam within one year, 12 months. For application and exam, there is just one fee from NFPA that is 350 US dollars and uh, it's certification you have to maintain. So after every three years, you need to report the recertification points, which are these ones for these certifications and pay this fee 150 US dollars. So three years is the certification period. In case you fail in the exam, you have to pay $300 for second attempt of CESCP and CESW and $175 for CEST. And uh, another point to remember is that these two certifications, CESCP and CESW, these are for the engineers or for the senior technicians, like CESCP is for the senior professionals or engineers. CESW is for the senior technicians or workers, but CEST is relatively uh, simpler or easier certification because it is for those people who are working on electrical facility exposed to the electrical hazards, but they are not technically related with the electrical field. So it is important for them to understand the hazards, the associated risks and their controls as far as electrical safety is concerned. So for those people, this certification has been launched by NFPA, which is called CEST. So that is why they have relaxed requirement for its retest fee and its recertification points. And there is another very important requirement that before appearing in these certification exams, you should have a certain amount of training hours uh, to appear uh, in this exam. So NFPA checks that at the time of application approval. So the requirement is 40 hours for CESCP, 40 hours for CESW, and you should have the electrical safety and preferably NFPA 70E training from any reputable organization. And as we have said that in over training design, which we are going to discuss in coming slides, they have been uh, accepted by NFPA as prerequisite for these certifications. 
while if we talk about cest uh, their prerequisite requirement is only 6 hours but those 6 hours must be only nfpa 70e and these 40 hours could be any electrical safety training right so just quickly talking about the eligibility for cescp you have to meet a certain minimum criteria and then the additional criteria the minimum criteria we use the word table one for that and then depending upon your cattle or your field you have to meet one of these requirements if you are electrician meet table two requirement if you are engineer meet table three requirement if you are other meet table four requirement so we are just quickly going through this one you can go on this link on nfpa website and then you can look at the candidate handbook in detail as well later so talking about the minimum requirement the minimum requirement is at least high school education and 40 hours of training simple as that 40 hours of electrical safety training from any reputable organization and then depending upon your cater whether you are electrician or whether you are the senior electrical engineer then you can have the certain requirement depending upon your degree uh, your experience requirement could be relaxed like for bachelor is two years for associate degree is four years or you should be the licensed professional engineer right so minimum requirement is for everyone then for electricians and electrical engineer there is requirement based on your uh, qualification and experience and then if you are not uh, directly related with the electrical field but still you are certified safety professional from board of csp usa with three years electrical power system experience you can go for cescp or you should have any bachelor's degree with the electrical power system experience or you are just a safety professional with 10 years electrical power system experience you can go for this one right so this is for cescp uh, similarly, for CESW, again, the high school diploma and that 40 hours requirement is still there. Just try to remember this 40 hours requirement. And then if you are technician or worker, you have to comply with a certain amount of training or instruction hours related with the electrical safety and your experience. Talking about CEST, there is no particular requirement. You should have just a high school diploma and the six hours NFPA 70E training within last two years. And for these two, the training should be within last three years, right? So as we have emphasized on these 40 hours, so now how to meet these 40 hours? NFPA, based on NFPA guidelines, we have designed these three courses. Electrical Safety at Workplace and FPA 70E Level 1. We have designed this course as the starter with the 8 credit hours and then the Level 2 with the 16 credit hours. And then after these two courses, you would be able to practice MCQs and practice the blueprint of the exam. So we call it Level 3 or CESCP, CESW or CEST exam prep. Uh, so that is of 24 hours. So if we see cumulatively, we need 40 hours, but here with these three in over USA courses, we are meeting 48 hours. So we are easily complying with this uh, 40 hours requirement because all our these courses are based on NFPA 70E. So NFPA uh, accepts in over USA courses. So it's a best pathway for you to go for these certifications. And still, if you are not targeting these certifications, still these courses are very useful for you to comply with the uh, electrical safety requirements on your workplace. So just log on to innovousa.com and look at our courses and get the idea that how important these courses are for your workplace. So. Uh, to do how to do that just log on to innovousa.com or uh, follow us on facebook youtube or linkedin uh, with this id at innovousa or we are at twitter with innovo-usa you can 
call or WhatsApp us or you can email us on info at InnovoUSA.com. So if you have any queries, we are available on all these platforms. Contact us to get your training or your guideline or your consultancy. Thank you so much.